I was not a believer in, back in, I was in college, back in the early 70s, give you a little history. And I was, this was not on my agenda. Matter of fact, I had rejected, I was pretty much an atheist. And a friend, but a friend of mine, and both of us were in college studying philosophy and sociology. And one day, my friend had a spontaneous out-of-body experience. And now, of course, we know that that's quite common. Spontaneous experiences are way more common than self-initiated, because they're natural. And he come to me the next day and explained to me his life-changing experience. And he was blown away by it, totally transformed him. And I was intrigued by it because I believed him. We went to grade school together. I knew this guy for 20 years. So he motivated, motivated me to get interested. And I wanted to have the experience he had. This is back in 73, just to put it in, in exact terms. And I did a little research. And even back in 73, there was literature and books available on how to self-initiate an out-of-body experience. So I studied this book, and I found that there was techniques. And they're relatively easy. And I began doing the techniques. This one technique, which I call the target technique, that I teach today. It's very simple. It's all I did is every night as I fell asleep, I would imagine three objects in my mother's house. Three silly things that only a mother could love that I had made. Little things in shop and pictures of fish, etc. They were my targets, three targets in my mother's home. I was in a dorm at the time. And every night, I would imagine that I'm moving to those targets, examining them, touching them. In other words, I am focusing my conscious awareness beyond my body solely until I drift to sleep. And it didn't take 15, 20 minutes. I did this, and the book made it clear that it takes dedication. It takes daily practice. And that's what I did. I was determined. So for 24 days, I did this technique. And believe me, after about two weeks, you're wondering, oh my god, this is just hooey. It's not real. Keep in mind, I'm not a believer. I know nothing about this topic. I'm clueless. But I kept it up. I was determined. And on the 24th day, doing this simple little target technique, I awoken, and I was in a single bed, and I was facing the wall on my side, on my left side. And I woke up highly energized, for lack of a better word. I felt different. I was lighter, more vibrant. Some of you have already experienced this. And as I reached out my arm, my arm went into the physical wall that was in front of me. My hand went into the wall. And that's, that's the first real clue I had that, oh my god, I did it. I did it. I thought of standing. And the next thing I knew, I was standing by the foot of my bed, looking down on this lump on the bed. And I was in shock. I, there's no other word for it. Total shock because I was trying to basically disprove it. And, and then I look around, and I'm trying to get, you know, again, you're, I'm excited, so you have to stay calm. I was doing my best just to stay calm. And as I looked around my little room, it's almost like I began to see beyond the perimeter of the walls. And I noticed that there was a man in a robe and a dark beard watching me. And I'll be quite honest with you, it scared me. It was unexpected. And I instantly snapped back into my body. Yeah.